And, you know, again, just to sort of regurgitate some of the things we've been talking about, like no, if, if, if this was divorced from what has weirdly maybe become like a cultural or even political issue, the, the CETO question, if we were just talking about oxidative stress and acrolein and 4-HNE and stuff like this, like everyone would be on the same page. Like, yeah, you don't want an excess of these things because they're mm-hmm. toxic, because they're going to cause damage to components of your cells. They're going to prevent them from working properly. And yet, you know, when it comes to this issue, I don't know, people seem to just get confused and lose track of, you know, what's the actual, where does the rubber meet the road? We're, we're talking about the production of toxic compounds that in any other context, you'd be saying, oh yeah, of course, cigarette smoke's bad. Yeah. 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 I mean, if you get in, if you get into pathology, it's, you know, almost everything. The, the better question is, okay, what has what is what is completely not related to seed oils? Right. right? Yeah. Like, like, oh, this is an interesting thing here. You know. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You could, because um, I'm sure that even, you know, uh, uh, I'm just guessing, but I bet, you know, I'm going to throw it out there. You know, a high omega six diet probably doesn't help cystic fibrosis. I don't know. Maybe maybe yeah. I'm completely wrong. Right. You know, something that's very definitively genetic or something. But mm-hmm. you know, maybe the actual disease expression changes right, too. I don't right. know. There's a lot. There's so many layers to this. If you want yeah, to be nuanced yeah. and look into the pathology, so 